okay, it's time to really dive into the meat of this assignment, the, the, the nitty gritty hard work part. So make sure you're paying attention and uh, you should have an image. You should have um, clicked on your toolbar. You should have edited it so that it's an advanced toolbar. Give you some more options. You should have also have added another layer and named it cut layer. Now you're going to be working on your cut layer. Now you can turn your layers off and on, like here's my image layer and here's my cut layer, so you can, you can do that. For right now they're both on and you're clicked on your cut layer. I want you to go to properties and um, well let me show you something. You're going to be drawing with the pen tool. So say I have my line that I've drawn with my pen tool. Um, you're going to want to make sure that after you've drawn all your lines that you go to stroke and you do a, at least point 0.1. That adds thickness to your line. Otherwise there's a line there but you can't see it because there's no thickness. So you need to be one or less like maybe point 0.5. That's what the vinyl cutter likes. It doesn't like lines that are larger than one. So, um, and I'll show you how to do that here towards the end. Okay, first off, to navigate, you want to hold an Alt and scroll. Now wherever your pointer is is where it's going to go to. So if I want to go over here, this is just the quickest way to navigate. So if I want to go over here, I'll put my pointer over here and then scroll in over here. So that's going to be useful because you're going to be zooming in and out to get these lines just perfect. Okay, so um, like I said, we're going to use a pen tool. Make sure that you're brushed up on it. I'm going to click here and let go, and it's going to start a line. Okay, I'm going to click where I want that line to end and hold the clicker in. That's going to give me these adjustment handles. Now uh, you can think of these as like little magnets. And if you see, if I have this little line here, and these little handles, what it's doing is just adjusting the end of that line. But if I make them wider, it pulls on more and more of that line. So you can adjust that in and out and get your line just about perfect. Okay, now there's a handle up here and it's pulling my line towards it. So it's making it curve weird. So I can do one of two things. I can either click here and start a new line without, well, work without the handle, or I could hold an Alt and grab the end of that handle and pull it over here and use it to my advantage. So there we go. And I'm just going to I could start a new line here or adjust that handle. Uh, one thing that I don't want you to do is I don't want you to, especially on like turn curves, radiuses, to make a bunch of little clicks. Okay, to get your lines just right. Because it ends up being more jagged and doesn't look as good. So try to make your lines longer. Don't just do a whole bunch of little clicks. Take your time on this. Make sure it looks good. This one right here is in a straight line. It actually has a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend. All right, and then I'm going to click back here because I need to start a straight line. I'm going to come straight up. And it bends out again here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here where I want to end. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend. Now my adjustment handle is a little funny. So I'm going to hold an Alt and click on it. Adjust it out click up here and you can always hold in all and scroll out while you're doing this and get my handles a little larger and get it just where I want it okay so what you need to do is go around the entire image and uh, outline it and then when you're done snap it back into where you started and you should have something that looks kind of like this. Okay, so I had my outline. I added these stars in later. But once you have your outline, you want to click on it and make sure that it has some weight to the line, at least one or less. Okay, I'd say 0.5 or 1. 
Okay, what I did on mine is I added in a little more detail. So after I made my outline, I went in and I did the pen tool around one of these stars. And then I held in Alt and I clicked on it and it makes a copy. So I could sit here and I could just hold in Alt and make these copies. Okay, and, and I placed them around where they're supposed to go. So if I hide my image layer, you can see that. I didn't want them too close to the edge. If you get it too close to the edge, um, that vinyl cutter is going to cut and then cut the star. And there's going to be a weak point right here. It might peel up when you, whatever, when you stick it to something. Or when you're weeding, when you're taking off the stuff that you don't want. They call that weeding. It, will, uh, it might peel up that edge. So try to leave at least an eighth of an inch between things. And don't get long, skinny points. So you don't want, for instance, say, I don't know, maybe there's a spike coming off this helmet. And it was like this. That's way too skinny. It's just gonna it's gonna be bad. So you don't want stuff like that. Okay. So once you have everything outlined, um, you can either have one big image here in this space. Or you can drag a box by clicking, left click and hold down and drag a box across and selecting everything and holding an alt and copying that over. So it's up to you. Um, don't get your image too close to the edge. So you don't want it like that. Give them a little bit of space from each other and from the edges. Um, since all these stars are separate, uh, it, when I go to cut it, it's going to group them all together. So I need to make this all one complete image. So I'm going to highlight everything. And um, you can um, turn off this picture layer, or you can drag it down to the garbage can. So it's just not in your way anymore if you're all done. Then you go to Properties, make sure everything's selected. And on the far right on Pathfinder, it says make a compound shape. Click yes, and now all this is one big shape. So if you see, I can move it all together. If you miss that step and you have little extra details in your sticker, it's, you're going to have to replace them when you go to cut it, and it's a pain. So make sure that you do that. You go to your properties, and you make it a compound shape. All right, almost there. So now what you want to do is you want to save it. File, save as. Save one as your name. Sticker. So Dane Warwood sticker for me. I'd save that under your number. Then also export one. Go to File, Export. Now the export, you can't go back and edit. That's why we just saved it did the save as because that saves it as an illustrator file and we can go back and edit it if we want but the export is once you've exported it you can't bring it back in and, and edit things so I'm gonna go to export as this is the one we're gonna use to cut with make sure that you select SVG and save that under your number as well as your name and sticker okay so go ahead and save that And then you're going to submit the SVG file in Canvas, and that'll be the one that we're going to use to cut. All right, thanks.